talked about the mobile for the pregnant friend. I have some good news. I talked about the mobile for the pregnant friend who is having a baby any day now. I am a bit behind schedule on that, but she said babies can't see uh, shapes and colors until a certain amount of weeks, so it is fine. But I still want to get it finished in the next few days. It's gonna be a paper mobile. The theme will be fairy tales, and I now have some designs. Let me show you. Well, it's not really designs, it is some loose sketches. I will have a smaller and a larger paper circle. They will in turn be connected by paper strips. From each circle, there will be hanging four decor pieces, and the larger circle will have larger decor pieces. Each of those has a mythological or fairy tale motif in their center. So, the next step would be to use normal paper, so I don't waste my nice colored paper, and make, some, make a prototype so that I know the size and the other details I want to add on there. I'm gonna grab some paper and my scissors and we will start cutting. As long as the puppy allows it, anyway. I don't want him pooping on any carpet again. Well, we wait. My largest scissors are in the living room, but if I get up now, he wants to follow and I'm gonna undo all the progress we did so far. So I'll have to use the tiny scissors. That's okay. I love being inefficient. I thought I would need more tries to get it right but this will be the frame I will have four of these and in there will be four different mythological or fairy tale motifs I want to be very let me just get that so <laughs> I want to be very simplistic in style. That means mm, mm, two, maybe three colors per motif because I don't want to cut that much paper and uh, I really want to have a minimalist but nice style. I'll concentrate on the shapes so that I know when and how to use the colored paper. Yeah, let's try that. For some reason, this color palette screams fairy tale to me. I just tried out um, many, many different colors, and each time I liked one, I wrote down the initials of its name so that I'd remember or that I'd know which one it was. And I ended up with this color palette. These are very muddy colors, and I tried to have two shades of each color because if I want to have a yellow object 
I'm gonna need a darker and a lighter yellow so that I will be able to um, shape its contours with paper. Otherwise, you know, you only have blue and yellow and that's a bit of a harsh contrast for shadows or darker areas of this yellow object. The limiting factor is going to be what kind of paper I have in my paper arsenal. It's quite a lot of paper, but I doubt I'm going to get all the shades right. So that is going to affect what I choose. Of course, I could always use gouache and paint on paper and then simply cut it out. But we are taking a look now what kind of colors I already have. Okay, unfortunately I don't have anything resembling deep cobalt green. This will be the deep cobalt. I'm very unhappy with my collection of green gold and dark naples ochre. I don't have anything like that. I am using my skin tone palette anyway. I will just see what comes up, what kinds of things are supposed to be these colors and we will work around that. I am going to take a picture with my iPad so that I am able to color drop the different colors from the paper for my sketches and I'm going to do that digitally. Ah, right, uh, the, the picture. And now I need to sneak out of the room and get my iPad. I am using a drawing program called Procreate. It is only available for Apple iOS. What I'm doing is I create my own color palette by using Color Drop. Color Drop is nothing else but pick a screen color. Every other drawing program has that function as well. It might just have another name. I added the photo in my drawing program and I'm now picking the screen colors of the paper so that way I can create my own palette. I will only use this palette as I go along and draw out the motifs. That way I will always have the right paper ready because I already know that I own that kind of paper. I will show you the quick version of my sketches. As I said, it is supposed to be a minimalistic style and I thought I achieved what I was trying to achieve, which made me very happy. But I was already very tired and continued the next day. Did I mention I'm tired? It is already half past 10. I've been awake since half past five again because of the dog and not voluntarily <laughs> after one hour of activity he thankfully went back to sleep for 30 minutes hey i i take what i can get <laughs> it is snowing like crazy outside there is a huge storm coming tomorrow uh, or at least lots of snow not necessarily a storm but 40 centimeters of snow, which is more than a foot, I think. Anyways, already lots of snow coming down. It is supposed to be even more tomorrow. Dino is sleeping and I am having some kind of brunch. There is, there was a croissant. There's also some bread, as well as some chicken nuggets with gluten-free crust. The thing we have to do today is finish the paper mobile because the baby came. <laughs> the baby is now here and they are all healthy, which is a relief, always a relief to hear. And I need to finish that. 
So as soon as I finish this weird breakfast, lunch, I will try to get the dog and myself to my studio and continue with the paper mobile. Let's talk about my process for a second, how I created these larger fairy tale motifs. Because of the simple simplistic style, there were large pieces in a certain color I was able to cut out. In order to cut them out, I used transfer paper. I placed it upon the sketch and traced the piece I wanted to cut out. I became aware of all the different little pieces I would need to create this fairy tale person. The one I am currently working on is inspired by a German fairy tale. Every single colored piece of paper I would need to cut out, I am tracing with my tracing paper. I then collect all the colored paper I will need for that particular motif. After I had cut them all out, I got out some thicker white paper. That was supposed to be the backing onto which I would adhere all the colored paper pieces. And then use the quickie glue pen, which you might already know, as well as the Zigway two-way glue in order to adhere them onto the white backing. It might be helpful to have a pair of tweezers ready, otherwise the very fine little pieces of paper might be hard to place. When I had to create holes, I accidentally covered with paper, I used my scalpel. Now what I hadn't thought of was the back of the paper. <laughs> It is in the air, so it keeps turning. That was my intention behind it. And I probably should have thought of that beforehand, but I didn't. There were two options, three actually. One would be to do nothing on the back of the motif. Maybe one single sheet of colored paper to give it a nice backing. The next option would be to do the same thing that is on the front of the motif and the third option which is what I went for would be to create the realistic backside of the motif. I wasn't as precise for the back of the motif. I simply used larger pieces of paper, stuck them on there with some glue and I cut off everything that was visible from the front. I, I didn't spend much much thought otherwise. And I have to say it turned out very cute. I was surprised, definitely surprised, and it fit into its little frame perfectly. I was very happy. I will not show you all the pieces. Let me just show you the process for this next motif uh, very quickly. I already cut out all the pieces. As you can see, they are all in the porcelain palette. And because it is a profile shot, I was able to use the same pieces for the front as well as the back side of the motif. And I am having fun in that moment. I enjoyed putting the figurines together and I enjoyed that I had been so meticulous and precise in the first steps that I was able to see that it paid off. Everything came together nicely. Uh, it worked out just as I had imagined. When you're working with paper and layer over layer, it is very important to be precise. I did not want to mess that up. You know, sometimes I try to wing it and it doesn't work out. That happened quite often already. But this time, this time it worked just as I imagined. And I want to take a moment to appreciate that I have been making YouTube videos for over a year now. When I look back at how difficult it was for me in the beginning to have patience with my art and work precisely, even when I didn't want to because I was getting so frustrated, I have made enormous progress. Just look at the detailed face of this little guy and later, later you will see the nymph I am working on 
I never would have imagined I would be able to do something like this, have the patience to go through with it. It took me over two weeks to create this mobile. You, you probably won't notice, but I filmed this over so many days because of the puppy. He was disrupting my workflow constantly. I'm just very grateful for every one of you who came along the journey, has subscribed or hasn't, but is watching my videos, uh, who is interacting, writing nice comments. I want to thank you, truly. Thank you so much. I wouldn't have kept going with your nice uh, encouragement, subscriptions, thumbs up. So thank you. Now back to the mobile. This is just the messiest my desk has ever looked, I believe. I mean, <laughs> this is just... Whoo. But I'm almost finished with the pieces. I wanted to show you how I'm going to do this uh, nymph. She is mid-transition and I already cut out some of the the bark. I try to have as many pieces in one as possible. I believe there will be one, two, three, four pieces. So these are supposed to be lines for the bark and I made one continuous line out of these here. Well, I also have one continuous for this, for this, and then one single line for the, the arm. Let's cut it out. Let's talk once more about the process, this time about the detail process. As you just saw, I cut them out with my tiny detail scissors and I try to hold the face in place so that I'm able to see whether I like it or not. If I don't like it, I take out the detail scissors again. I cut out a piece, this time I cut something off of the eye and then off of the eyebrow. I continue doing that, hoping all the time that I don't cut off too much, but it worked out okay and I, as soon as I like the face, I paste it onto the paper. The tweezers again are very helpful to make these tiny movements and shape the eyebrows or some of the hair, however you want to. I am still extremely confused how I managed to do that and push through because it was so exhausting creating this mobile while having a puppy and training him to be quiet getting barked at constantly waking up at half past five or half past four going for a walk with the puppy a few hours later working on the mobile going for a walk again trying to not fall asleep it was really difficult but I have to say, I'm proud of the result. I did take some breaks in between and break days. Such a fun day I had in the snow with friend and my husband and the dog. Let's see.
Das hat es nochmal, weil die Bundesjugend spielen. Several days have passed. I finally finished the four centerpieces of the mobile. My studio is a mess, mostly because I can't have a paper bin at the moment because the puppy will just empty it and eat all the paper. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna show you the four centerpieces now and then I will have a cleaning session and then I'll continue with the rest of the decoration for the mobile. We have the Nymph Mid Transition, which is of course something you would want to create oh, out of paper. I'm just gonna make a close-up and then put this in there. We have the Nymph Mid Transition. We have a variation of uh, a red riding hood with a companion Llama. We also have the princess and not a prince but the one she chose and we have a knight as well as a thief and they will all be sitting inside these lovely frames. You know the funniest thing is <laughs> everything is on the, the floor is empty. The floor is fine because if there is something on the floor, the puppy will find it and most of the times eat it. But on my desk and my workbench, not so much. This took forever, but I now have all the pieces for the mobile. I just need to figure out how I am actually going to attach them. And when I have, I will try to finish this as soon as possible. I, I am done. I don't want to do this anymore. That's enough paper and working with scissors for at least two months. Anyways, I'm gonna look for a solution to attach this now. No, I don't have enough paper. We're gonna have to choose another paper. I had looked into finished mobile kits where you would get one wooden circle, sometimes two or a cross, a wooden cross, where you were able to attach your decorative pieces. I decided to create it myself, to create these two circles out of paper, because I wanted almost everything to be out of paper. The limiting factor was what kind of paper I had enough of. I wanted it to have a diameter of 
a bit more than 30 centimeters. And when you apply the corresponding formula, it is actually a lot of paper that you need. And Dino kept doing so many stupid things in the background. He just wouldn't settle down. Oh no. Let me show you what I've been doing yesterday evening while I was watching some TV show. I created this very steady cord. It is also kind of flexible. I created it with the Strickliesel. It works uh, the following way. You have four loops at the top of the Strickliesel. You also have some wool. Place the cord on top of the already existing one. You take this needle and then you simply loop it over the other cord. Turn it, loop it over. Turn it, loop it over. And you do this I think I, I, it just took me maybe one hour and this is lots and lots of very nice knitted cord and it should be enough already you know I want to hang up the paper ring with this cord so if this is the paper ring which should now be very dry which should be divided by four and then each one of these will be attached to a corner of the, a corner, well, one quarter of the ring. And it will hang this high. <laughs> I'm just going to continue knitting for a bit and then it should be fine. It's really, really therapeutic. The last time I did this was when we were supposed to move to a new city, to a new flat four weeks um, from four weeks from then and we still didn't have a flat I was so stressed out there just were no flats available at least none that we could afford I was I was knitting yard after yard <laughs> just to try and relax and it was very relaxing and it's a good thing I haven't started knitting since that time. Now this is the most difficult part. I'll get out my fine yarn and I will then try to attach the paper figurines and decoration to the paper circle. Okay, so I got very fine thread as well as a very fine needle. I don't want to stress the paper too much, which is why I decided on a short but sharp needle. I'm also going to get out this thing because I tend to poke myself and I'm actually using it to apply more pressure towards the needle so that it will go through the paper. I will first try the decoration. I don't want to mess up the big pieces just at the very beginning. I'm going to stab it against the cutting mat so I can poke it. Mm, it's not working. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Yes. This is working out fine, okay. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I
off with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Till they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Something I learned yesterday is that you actually don't pronounce it mobile in English, but mobile. Now you know. I think I'm just continue. I'm gonna continue to say mobile. Uh, I can't say that now. Anyways, I said it about 100 times that way. It is still chilling up here because I'm very unhappy with the close-up footage I took. I need to do that today again and then you will see it. And then I need to wrap it up in a package and send it away to my friend. I cannot post this video until they receive the package. That would be just mean to show the mobile. So I need to get that done today. I don't want to, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Let's, okay. I need an incentive. When I finished making the close-ups, I'm gonna get a coffee and then I'll wrap it up. <sighs> okay, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Also, I threw out my back last week. It probably was when I tried to pick up the dog with his kennel. It was just too heavy. 